Have you ever wanted to have live visual effects on a live stream that you're posting to the internet? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hi guys, Alex here and welcome to the first tutorial on this channel. Now we're all stuck indoors in a minute on lockdown because of coronavirus which means we're having to watch a lot of stuff on Facebook, YouTube, internet, streams, etc. Now a lot of DJs have been doing live sets online and these have been great. People have just been putting a camera, pointing them towards themselves and their decks and having a good old time. But these are pretty boring for us to watch. When we go to a nightclub, we have lights, smoke machines, lasers, video walls, all sorts of other entertainment for us to look at. But on these live streams, we don't have anything like that. So how about we get some visual effects playing live on our live streams? Not many people have been doing this. I've in fact not seen anyone do this. And I thought we need to have some way of being able to have some live visual effects on our live streams. Uh, what a visual effect is, is say some oscillators going up and down to the time of the music in real time, reacting live to the music. Um, the way I do this, I've got a little box like this. This is a Behringer RCA202, sorry UCA202, um, and it's got two phono inputs and two phono outputs not really interested in the output because all we want to do is the computer to listen to music going in so i've got the output from my dj mixer uh, going into this and then the other end of this is just a usb and it plugs straight into the computer and the computer is able to listen to it so i've got that set up if you want another video on how to do that i can do that but i'm going to assume that you've already got your cables plugged into your computer uh, because obviously you're processing the music that's streaming anyway, so you should be able to do that So we're going to head on over to the computer now, and I will show you how we set up our streaming service um, To use live visual effects So most people are using software called OBS Now open broadcast studio, I believe it's called um, It's pretty much the standard for recording and streaming to the internet now I'm going to assume that you've already set up your settings and you set up your stream to whoever it's going to, uh, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, whatever. I'm just going to show you how you set this up to go. Now, what we obviously want first of all is our video capture device, which is usually your webcam that you've got pointed at your turntables. So I'm adding a new video capture device and I'm selecting the webcam that I've got pointed at my decks and they're there. Now I can change the resolution on this, I obviously want it to be HD, I've only got 720p webcam but that's now set up so we can stretch it out to fill the screen. Now that's my turntables there um, and if I was to play music now you'd hear the music but you wouldn't necessarily hear anything that's coming in or see anything. Next thing I want to do is obviously have my audio input captured. So I create a new audio input and I'm going to select the Behringer line in. That's now set up. So we can see that our software is going to be listening to the audio and capturing the video. But we want live visual effects as well. And to do this, I use FL Studio. Go into FL Studio. I need to tell FL Studio to be listening to the audio input. So I click on the options and the audio devices, and I'm using FL Studio ASIO as my input device. I want to click on to the show the ASIO panel, and I need to select my line in as the Behringer line in. My line out is my external sound card. That's not really we're not going to be listening to it through the computer because obviously we're doing it through the turntables. So once that's set up, I can come out of there. Now, if I play the audio in, it's, you won't be able to hear anything. Need to make sure 
but on mixer one, we have in one and in two selected. Now, if I press play, and I'll just get this up so you can see, if I press play on my CDJ, I'll just turn it up so you can hear. We've got some music coming through. And as we can see, FL Studio is listening to this music and it's coming in. Now we need to get the live visual effects going on. Now, on the mixer, under slot one, we pick up visual, uh, sorry, Z Game Editor Visualizer. This loads up and it brings us a video preview screen and a setup screen. Now we're gonna use this as like a green screen. Now I wanna pick up a solid color as my input, click on the paintbrush and pick up green. And there we have, our video is showing a green background. But we want the visual effects. So I create another layer and we've got hundreds of effects here. Now I quite like this one. This is showing the peaks and troughs of the music. Uh, we've got all sorts of different ones here. Don't forget that we're gonna have something that's gonna be possibly to the side or on the bottom of your mix or your video. So it really doesn't wanna be getting in the way. So this one is quite good. I'm just gonna set it to a black color just so we can see it. Now, if we head back on over to OBS, we want OBS to look at our green screen. So I need to click and create a new window capture. Now, automatically, OBS has picked up the visualizer preview screen, which is, which is the one we want it to look at. If you want it to look at anything else, you can pick that, but we want it to be looking at this one. So I'll click OK and it's put it in the top of the screen. Now I want to stretch it, just so we can see it. And I obviously want to crop out the little bits that we've got around it. And to do that, we hold the Alt key down. I'm just going to bring it up to there. I'm going to crop the top out to about there. And just crop the edges in slightly. And I'm going to position it down the bottom. But again, we've got this green screen and we don't really want a block of green. So on our window capture, we right click and bring up filter. We press plus to the filter and add a chroma key. And we just call it a name. This is gonna be default. And as default, it's blocked out that green screen and it's just leaving us the black. The gray behind is what the green is. I was gonna close that. And as we go back now, we can see that we've got the live audio visual going on. Now, it's not a very good color, this black, so I'm gonna go back in here and just change the color. Set something that's gonna show up. And the blue might, let's select that red actually. back and restart the track. Now if we go back over to OBS, it's showing the red up, which is showing a bit better. Obviously you have to play around with this because of the background that you might be doing. But that is how we have live visual effects. This is reacting to the music that I'm playing. Obviously if I go over to the mixer, and turn the volume down, the volume drops out. So that is how we get live visual effects onto our video. So I've not seen anybody else be able to do this. Um, if you know of anyone who's done a similar thing like this, please do let me know in the comments below. But enjoy yourself, enjoy your streams, and be safe, stay indoors. Thanks guys, see you in the next video.